definitely better at the military. There we go. Scholarly circles. Scholarly circles. What is my devotion? It's at a decent level. 4,000 guys I can muster. Mustard. Um, yeah, let's name it after you, lady. You did a good job. It's great kids. Especially this one, Amir. I wish I would have given him a different name. Solder, I would have given him again. I think that was the dude who um was the first guy in um of the Ptolemy dynasty and after Alexander the Great died. And he was the guy who was in charge of Egypt, I'm pretty sure. We'll create two of these, I think. Nice. Look at that. Now we want to build up our money a bit and prepare, grow a little bit more of an army. Should be able to grow. We were at like a four to forty-five hundred dudes. We're gonna grow that by about six hundred. Have a standing army of about six hundred just light infantry. We're just gonna grab the cheapest light footmen that we can, um, but we're just gonna try to beat the numbers of ever, or beat or match the numbers of their neighbors. So we don't want to be too weak. Yeah, we don't want like the next. Uh, it probably will be too. We don't want the next crusade to roll around and be for Egypt. Actually, what we could do too. We're not by anyone else. So if we wanted to. What? I could do this. Six of nine vassals would convert. Who would not? Yeah, that guy makes sense. Tubrook. And then. That dude. Whoa. We're doing it. We're going to convert to Coptic. Heck yeah, we are. This is crazy. Okay, so there's my spouse. She's 50. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's take a look here. Nice. Cool. We're Coptic, huh? That's kind of neat. Alright, I need to check my dudes. He's going to be a problem. We're going to have to deal with this too. This mosque thing. This caliph. Because he won't convert. Because that is like a holy thing. He's kind of like the pulp of, of, Ish, of Ishmael. So I kind of killed Ishmael in a way because that's all the only place it ever really was, except for out here. But now I've got Amir. Who the hell is she? Seven years old. Marry her to Amir. Amir's three. We got a son though. Marry him to my daughter. Now we're talking. Oh, cool. And now we're allied with Jerusalem. See, that's why you do it. We got 6,500 troops. Huge blow to Islam, too. Because now they only exist here and over here.
Now it's more of like a traditional European monarchy. Um, we're all Egyptian here. How are we doing? Good. This guy, the Talbert guy, man, I hate him. He needs to get lost. But it's like, what can I do? Hmm. Okay, actually, I turn him into a Coptic. Maybe he's gonna be okay. He can stay. This guy, though, needs to be gone. He'll rise up with other disgruntled vassals. No, dude, I need to take that from him. Sorry, buddy. You're going down. Prepared this time. What is this? <laughs> Good luck. I'm a little more organized now as a country. Got the ability to exercise my force. Alright, let's get him here. Nice, we'll be able to pin him in. Um, I'm getting rid of this dude because he is he, one of them that refused to convert to the religion, the new religion, Coptic. Oh, I captured him. So what we want to do now is revoke his title. Cool. And I think we'll actually just hold on to that. That title. Give us the luxury income. And we are going to continue to expand our military capability. So we want to get up to 500 guys each. So we'll about a thousand guys in our standing army. That'll be good. Ooh, what's this? A Bedouin man from Eastern Desert come to my petition for Christianization of my government. My lord, we are your loyal subjects. You know, our communities are governed. Would be so much. What is this? Who is this? Sheikdom of Jabal Quizem. The Khalid. Um. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. Just because, like, I'd be down, but. No way. I'm wiping out the Bedouins. Not happening. If it was just a different duchy, that would be one thing. So that's what it would have been. I could have gave him, like, this chunk. Interesting. But, uh, he thinks he asked for a little too much when... I just... I actually am trying to get rid of him. <laughs> um... Whoa. Interesting. Where are these guys, though, specifically? They're all Egyptian. Cool, man. That's awesome. We don't want, uh, you don't want a ton of different cultures and stuff floating around. It's good to unify that stuff. Cool. I get a journaler. Exercise together with solder. Let's be a journaler. He's he's down the learning path, so that makes sense to me. Get some allies. I can create the Duchy of Cairo. Ooh, that's really what I should do. Um, 
Let's see. That's what I need to do. Maybe I should just try to imprison him. I'll just grab my military. I'll just put it right there. And I'll actually just raise it right now. So that when horse declared, I'm ready to roll. Yep, yeah, there we go. These are like the religious wars within my country. I'm just kind of rooting them out. Sorry, guys. Um, let's do desirable match. That way, our we get a little bit more of a bonus when you're getting sent up marriages. What is this? Maybe that wasn't the time to be spending money there. <laughs> Look at them, they're just getting killed by other dudes. Oh, he, he just died. Shoot. Well, that kind of means what, then? It was kind of like, this is kind of coming back to bite me that um, I handed out this dude this land. Because now I... Now I can't take it back. Cool, though. I was able to get his vassals converted to, to Coptic. What's that about? Someone trying to kill someone? Oh, you know what I think I have to do? Is I think I actually do have to like kind of go to my vassals and let's see, he's good. And so my main guy's converted, but I don't know if all of my other dudes also converted. So, like this guy, okay, so these guys are all good. Like this guy converted, but did, did his vassals? No, it doesn't look like it. And I demand it. Let's see. There's him. Him. Let's see the same dude, I think. This looks like a different man. There we go. Send. Most of them are on board, it seems. That's awesome. So it shouldn't be too much maintenance to do. Especially when everyone's saying, yeah. That should really speed up the religious conversion, I think. I hope, at least. Got a favor hook on me, huh? Different faith opinion would be cool. Also, the lowering of the faith conversion cost. Man, that'd be sweet. Else. We better have the other thing done. Oh, I guess not. Maybe that was a previous thing. But this will be done in four years, it says, right? So by the time he's 60. Hey there, Jerusalem. You're looking mighty fine. 
kind of works out cool too, because I mean, imagine, man, you, you're Jerusalem. You show up in this new land here, and you're you just crusaded your way in, so it's not like you're really friendly with the people that were already there. And then, uh, so you're kind of like the only Christian kingdom there, and the only other one is like the Byzantine Empire, which is kind of half on your team. And then another, but then um, a big other kingdom just flips sides, man. So your whole one side is safe. And then you ally. It's good stuff. Build. First in line to inherit Giza. Cool. Be cool if this kid just, you know, something happened to him. <laughs> so what I need to do here is when my dude's done trying to convert this religion, maybe I should just make a claim on this dude's land right here. He's going to be a problem. He's not going to let my stuff convert. Maybe I should just worry about converting now. Oh, cool. Right, let's get how long would it take here in that province? Not too long. Actually, it already kind of looks like maybe. Oh, maybe not. I thought maybe it was already kind of picking up progress, but it's all good. Nice. That should really lower our cost too. Uh, well, I don't know why it tells me I can do that when I can't. This guy really likes me. Because I'm open-minded. Sweet. Respect. All this cool stuff. Nice. Well, let's get some cash. Dude, he loves me because... Um, wasn't there a time where I had the Pope in my thing? Captured? In my prisons? There he is. Pope Philemon. Where is this guy? The Coptic Papacy. <laughs> Wait, do I have it? Oh, I have him. Ooh. I need to give him some stuff. That'd be kind of cool. Wait, can I give him... Like, Tobruk? I'd be okay with that, actually. see the city here this guy that's cool so now he answers to the Pope well, basically me and this other guy actually these other guys are Coptic too so that means I kind of opened up this whole world down here as well hmm 
Hmm. Darfur. That's awesome. He's proposed my daughter. So she will be the Queen of Jerusalem. That'll be good. Hmm. We could pull an alliance with the Byzantine Empire as well. That'd be ingenious. Orthodox Greek, dude. That's cool. Visions of the Divine. If one of these guys had like a daughter, I could, uh, I could marry into that. Maybe. That'd be cool. Hmm. Oh, my brother died. Muhad! Jeez, I just had so many kids, it just kind of makes it hard to keep track of them all. Is the unfortunate truth. The sad, cold, unfortunate truth of the matter. Um, hey, Sackamus. <laughs> sure. Some of their names suck. Dude, he'll have a perfect, my next guy will have just a perfect amount of, um, oh, we have heraldry now. We can change the rights. He has the perfect amount of kids ready to roll, so he'll be able to set up some good alliances right off the bank, and I don't, they haven't gotten married yet, so it's, like, kind of nice. Let's do that. Nice. And let's... Increase our authority, and also let's change the succession law to high partition. And just like that. Oh, nice. Uh, so let's see. So I don't think we lose anything then. So we're just basically holding on to the same stuff because I don't have anything extra to give up. That's awesome. That's fine by me. At least you don't hold on to too much extra. You know what I need to do though? I need to grab my heir and then his heir, Amir, here, and I need to get. Well, one, he needs to be a little bit better about that. Um, he needs to be the right religion.
We're doing pretty good. And we're safe now from um, Crusades. The only thing we're not necessarily safe from are Jihads. But I'm hoping that we'll be fine and that, I mean, if it, we'll see them coming, like they'll hit Jerusalem first. I just, my only worry, and the reason I really kind of did a flip is because I worry that Egypt is the next target because... Hey, Syria's if you already think the video was worth your time, so please hit that like and subscribe button and check out the other videos on the channel. And uh, yeah, you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one.